YouTube, I'm back online and stuff, so I didn't die like everyone maybe thought. Not that anyone's actually contacting me or anything to say. I hope you're alright because you've not been on YouTube for a couple of weeks. But there you go. So, I've moved. Here we go. New location, new mic. Loads of new guitars, obviously, because even though I was moving house and it was really stupid to buy more guitars, I did anyway. Yeah, so, guitars, oh, there's no way you're going to like that. That's what I was thinking. This is a Yamaha... It's an, an AEX 520. I am... Um, normally, uh, my belief with the Yamaha system, which seems to work, someone told me that the number's five. The five is the series, and kind of roughly, five is like sort of the 500 pound, or 500 dollars type sound. I don't know how accurate that is, but it seems to work for the 321 and the 820 and all these things. And the, the second number is number of humbuckers, so it's like a, because it's a 52, so it's Five series, two humper, two humbuckers, and zero single coils. So other Yamaha's like a RG three two one is a three series, which is about three hundred quid. It's got the two is for two humbuckers and the ones for one single coil. Yep, which generally works. It doesn't work with all of them because I've got an SE one fifty, and it's got one humbucker, so it should really have been a one twenty, you know, a one a one ten, but it's not. It's a one fifty, so I don't know how these things work. But there we go. So this is mini humbuckers. Semi hollow. I got it cheap because it's got the guy said it a crack in the paint, but it's actually a crack in the wood there. You see the light to get the light to hit off it. See it? So it's obviously been dropped or something on this point. But I mean, it's it's solid. And I don't think it makes it doesn't make any difference. The only thing it affects is the value of the guitar, which is why I got it at such a nice price. Um, gold hardware, volume tone, f holes for jazz. Yeah. Well, I can't play jazz, so. I was kind of, no, it's fun, but really. But it's amazing how it was such a surprise. I think I'm maybe thinking it's not a lot better than it actually is just because I was so surprised at actually liking it. I was not expecting it to be nice. Um, Listen, got some background noise from the Degu in there who likes to chew things. So if you hear a sort of crunching, sounds like a, a rodent chewing through a piece of wood sound from the guitar, it's actually the rodent chewing through a piece of wood there, not actually the guitar making the noise. But this was, as I said, such a surprise guitar. Um, What's the neck? The bridge pickup, tone on full. Find really strange is that the mini humbuckers which I've had in a couple of guitars before they never really seemed to work or not not work but you know they didn't I didn't I didn't understand what they were for but in this they totally make sense I mean it's it's actually driving the clean channel and that we amp as I'm playing to the Laney it's a VC 15 a 15 watt all tube thing I've got a switch on the floor a foot switch which turns on the switches on the gain channel and switches on the reverb <laughs> Next pick up. Jazzy. Go for some distortion. Turn off the reverb.
me play chords, which is a strange and not what I was expecting. Um, it's. I wonder. I wonder how much of it's just psych, you know, in my head that you know, here's your guitar and it's like for some reason you can seem to be able to strum this. I mean, technically, I don't see any reason why it's any different from like a you know any of the guitars that are in the wall, but it just went. Think there's a, um, this kind of guitar is like there's an Ibanez make a whole range of guitars. I think they're called Art or Art Core, which is this kind of idea. You know, a sort of semi hollowy sort of jazzy looking thing. I always thought, who the hell buys them? What's the point in it? But I can totally, I totally get it now. And Yamaha, really. I mean, I've, I think every Yamaha I've ever had, even. Well, I'm not saying even. The Pacificas are fantastic guitars. The only issue I have with the Pacificas is they just don't look very nice. They're kind of like it's very much a, just just a look thing. And it's also the fact that they're a bit common. You know, you see an awful lot of them kicking about. And saying that, they do obviously win, I think they have for the last 30 years, won every single award for best budget guitar, best mid-price guitar, you know, best of this and all these things. Just high quality of Yamaha's ridiculous. This has got very expensive feeling machine heads. On it, the hub, the mini humbuckers. I think are are they actually smaller than normal mini humbuckers? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure normal mini humbuckers are just slightly bigger than that. But Yamaha kind of tend to make their own stuff. Um, this one's made in Taiwan. I think does it say on the back? I, I looked it up when I got it last week. Um, it's 1999. Is it June 99 or something like that? So it's it's almost vintage. It'll be vintage next year. And it's like, it's like from 1999 for me, it's still like, oh, a new model. You know, it's like, because most of the guitars I've got from the 80s. But, um, and I suppose, I suppose it's still the 90s. But for me, like, you know, 99, 2000, it's like, oh, it's new. But actually, actually technically vintage. I didn't even change the strings on it. Um, it's got the most annoying thing. Whoever it was had the guitar before me strung the, the high E string on the wrong side. So instead of going to this side of the tuner, it goes to this side, which means you have to turn it backwards. It's missing a switch tip, but I'm sure I'll have one of them in my parts box. Hey, that's uh, coming to my criticism of this guitar. This switch is damn noisy. Like just physically, I don't mean it, it doesn't make a noise coming through the amp, it's just like it's, maybe it's because it's hollow, it's, just, it's making it vibrate more. You can if you're, I think if you, if, if you were to use this live, you can kind of, instead of clicking it, you, you know, you, you push it and so hold it to stop it making that clicky noise. <laughs> different things just because regardless of I think it, it probably is good for this thing but just because of the way it looks and feels and my the image in my head of what this guitar's for it's great being able to play different kinds of music you know like I'm not playing Black Sabbath and stuff in this I don't see any reason why you couldn't <laughs> Thank you. 
the volume control works really well on it as well. It seems to give you an edge. You can really put it down for. Obviously, I'm using extreme distortion because it's me. But you can. So basically this guitar is friggin' awesome. This was the buy to fix up. It didn't really need any fixing up to sell and uh, that's going to be getting kept, I think, because I don't really have anything else like this. It's not like a 335. I've had a few 335s and thin line tail, a couple of thin line tellies and a few thin line in general. Shh. A few thin line things in general and I never, although I loved the look of them, I didn't actually like the way they played, whereas this one, although it is hollow and thin line, it doesn't, it's not like them. It doesn't seem to be, I don't know, it seems like it wants to be what it is. I'm just talking fish now. Rock on and basically Yamaha AEX520. Thoroughly recommended. I wouldn't go, maybe not go and buy £500 on a guitar if you don't like it. But if you can pick one, if you get a shot of one, I mean, it's not like it was, it didn't take me half an hour to decide I liked it. It was like, as soon as I just went, it was like, whoa, what the, what the hell? This is different. This doesn't sound like any other guitar I've got. Rock on. <laughs> 